A couple who terrorized an eight-year-old's birthday party with both weapons and racial slurs are actually going to jail, and for a long period, surprisingly. Kayla Norton and Jose Torres, who have three children, were part of a larger group. This is back in July 2015, a group called Respect the Flag. They don't mean the American flag, by the way. Their convoy of trucks flying the Confederate battle flag pulled up to a birthday party for an eight-year-old black child where they threatened the family and yelled racial slurs. At one point, as you do, Torres pulled out a shotgun and pointed it at the family. Okay, can I have to stop you right there because I think that this is an important detail that a lot of news articles left out and we should mention it. He didn't just simply point a shotgun mm -hmm. at the party goers. Uh, his little girlfriend actually took the shotgun out of the truck as he was yelling and, uh, you know, saying racist things to these people and loaded the gun in front of them and mm -hmm. handed it yeah. to him so he could then threaten to kill all of them with that shotgun. Exactly, yeah. Okay. It would be irresponsible not to cite that, which is why I got it right here. Oh, no, I'm no, sorry, no, no, no. I'm okay, sorry. Okay. I no, just no, no, pulled no. a jank. No, Except with jank, I'll okay. say something, and then a minute later he'll be like, you left something out, then he'll repeat it. It's just bust nuts. I we know. just want to make sure that the information gets across. Both of us are eager for that. Uh, so <laughs> Melissa Alford uh, was a guest at the party, said at least seven pickup trucks displaying Confederate flags pulled up on her property on Campbellton Street. Seven pickup trucks, Jesus. Their passengers were armed and threatened to kill y'all N-words. Um... That seems to check out. Several members of the group, some of whom are now serving prison terms of their own, so this is not the only case, uh, got out of their trucks and approached the partygoers, threatening to kill them all. According to their fellow defendants and witnesses, it was Norton, the female, who retrieved Torres' shotgun, a tactical 12-gauge with a pistol grip, and loaded it before giving it to him. He must have thought he saw a deer in the background, or something like that. No, he was trying to terrorize them. And uh, bear in mind, contextually, uh, the disruption of the birthday party took place less than a month after white supremacist Dylan Roof killed nine African Americans at a historic black church in Charleston, uh, saying that he did so uh, because he wanted to kill black people and he wanted to start a race war. Less than a month later, this sort of terrorism is going on, uh, so just important that you understand that. Now, the consequences. Uh, a Douglas County judge sentenced Torres to 20 years with 13 to serve in prison. Norton was giving 15 with 6 to serve. Upon their release, the judge also ordered them to be permanently banished from Douglas County, which I didn't even know was a thing that judges could do, but they, apparently it is. They can do that. They can. Uh, and I know a lot of people, some people online are trying to pitch this as, so they said racist stuff. Okay, they just said racist stuff, no, but they didn't. I mean, we already described it. They threatened to kill them and they had weapons and there were a ton of them. Now, the particular uh, charges, Norton was sentenced on one count of violating Georgia's Street Gang Act and one count of making terroristic threats. Torres was sentenced on three counts of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, also terroristic threats and Street Gang Act. We want to give you just a little bit of a look uh, at what this happened. Now, understand that in this video, I believe the police are already there, but it is still an incredibly raucous event. This is a child's birthday party. Hey, hey, Look at this shit. We'll see y'all again. We'll see y'all again. Hey, 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 So you there, saw there seven trucks, I mean gigantic trucks, covered in uh, those flags. Imagine getting together a group of your friends to terrorize a child's birthday party. And by the way, it wasn't... It wasn't just the child's birthday party. That day, they kept, you know, driving. Oh, at other along. places as well. Yeah, yes. they, it's not like they targeted this particular birthday. They just happened to come across an eight-year-old's birthday, and they're like, "Oh, what a great opportunity to be the pieces of shit that we are." Yeah. And and terrorize this eight-year-old and the party goers by threatening to shoot them with these loaded guns. Okay, so I want to be clear about something. Saying racist things is protected under the First Amendment, mm -hmm. okay? So right now, we live in a society where people get rewarded for saying racist things. We just elected someone for being racist, uh, and then we pay racists like Ann Coulter 
who knows how much money just to do book tours and write, you know, books about how racist she is. So that's protected. That's mm -hmm. fine. And there's no legal grounds to go after someone for saying those things at all. In fact, they could drive by with a hundred of their Confederate flag trucks if they wanted to, and they're not breaking any yes. law. However, what's not protected under the First Amendment is terrorizing someone and also threatening to kill them, right? If you make specific threats against someone, that is against the law. And in Georgia, apparently, there are very specific laws pertaining to gang activity. Street gangs, yeah. And it, what I find interesting about that is when lawmakers passed that, I'm sure they were thinking about minority and ga minorities and gang activity. It's interesting to see that it's actually working against, um, you know, white supremacists. But, yeah, uh, actually, I'd like to look into that law because I wonder how it's worded. It seems like yeah. the sort of thing that'd be set up fairly loosely. Yeah. But in this case, it was used, I guess, for the, the right purpose. Yeah. Anyway. You shouldn't need to have to clarify that you can't threaten to kill people and point a gun at them. But I think that it's you know, probably going to do what you did. liberals, you know, like they're going after the free speech without even yeah. never read the Constitution one day in their lives and they think they're free speech activists. Anyway, nonetheless, I'm glad that there were consequences here. And also, these two individuals, Kayla Norton and Jose Torres, have three children together, okay? Um, go take care of your kids. Instead of running the streets and, and talking about how you're going to kill black people, you should be taking care of your kids. Find something else to do. These are young people in their 20s. They're in their mm -hmm. 20s. When I'm not working, you know what I'm doing? Not terrorizing people because I have a life, mm -hmm. right? And, and my life consists of doing things that make me feel good. If this is what makes you feel good, there's something fundamentally wrong with you. You can help hire investigative reporters that will chase down stories no one else will. Be the media. TYTnetwork.com slash go.